Okay, so tonight we ordered pizza. Hey, Caddy. So I've got a special treat. I think you guys will enjoy watching. See that? That's pizza crust. Yeah, you want the pizza crust? Oh. <laughs> Don't fight over it. There's enough for both of you. There you go, babies. Yeah, you guys a pizza crust. Yeah, I should have broken it in half and given you half, huh? Well, there's lots. There's plenty. I wish I could boop your snoot so bad, but I don't want to get bitten. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. Can I boop your snoot? Boop. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah, so that's... Um, and also we've discovered that um, these two, are you can tell them apart because as you can see, Peep doesn't have any brown on her nose. I don't know how well you can see... But Bunny has a bit of brown on her nose because their mom, Cadbury, is mixed, but uh, she clearly has some Siamese rat in her. Let's see if we can get her to look at the camera. Hi, Caddy. She looks like she's white on camera, but she's actually more of a cream color. And if you see her nose, she's got a dark spot on her nose. And that is a Siamese rat. Yeah. So now we can tell her two older babies apart. Are we going to have another look at the gummy bears? Look at them all! They have actually grown since yesterday. Look at them. They're moving around and crawling. Oh my freaking god. You can see this little one here. I don't know if you can... Oh, there we go. This little guy here is the runt. And she piled all her babies on top of each other so they could keep each other warm. So cute. Yeah, my little gummy bears. And Caddy's just giving herself a bath and taking a break. And I gave her some pizza crust, but she hasn't been eating the pizza crust. I know she's been, she knocked her bowl over and she ate some of that, but I don't know how much. She made a huge mess of this tank. But that's okay. They're only going to be in here long enough, uh, like one or two weeks, until uh, the babies are weaned, and then they can be on their own. Because I can't put them in that cage, because when those two babies first came, they could fit through. So they were in the tank for a little bit until... Like, I'm sure if they wanted to, they could squeeze out, but I think they're pretty happy with their situation. It's better than the... The ditch you guys were dumped in. Isn't that right? Yeah. Hi, sweetie. You can see Bunny's brown nose. Are you a brown noser? Hmm? So the bunny on the right and Peep on the left. Hmm. Yeah, you guys are so cute. You're so cute. Yeah, you're good babies. Yeah, you're good babies. I forgot how much I loved rats until these guys showed up. And then I also forgot that I was allergic to them. So I had a pretty bad rash on my chest for letting Cadbury run on me for a couple minutes. Hi. 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 Hi, bunny. Bunny, bunny, bunny. I can't focus this camera very well. Well, because it's my phone. Hi, bunny, bunny. Look at that little face. How could somebody throw you away? Look at that little face. Look at that tail. Look at this guy up here. Look at you, Peep. What are you doing? And they do run in the wheel. Which, I, we every time we've had a rat before, they're, they haven't been wheel rats. But these guys like to run in it, which is good. They've got all sorts of treats in there. I gave them half kiwi this morning. Oh, there's just some skin in the back left from the kiwi. They like kiwi. They like yogurt. Different flavors of yogurt. They like nuts. Like I was giving them walnuts. And what else do they like? They like, well, pretty much everything. Um, but they like, I, gave, I had schnitzel the other day. I gave them a little piece of schnitzel and... Uh, some of the bun, they quite enjoyed that. I don't see any 
leftovers from that. And then like uh, chicken wing bones, not like regular chicken bones. They have to be the deep fried fast food kind of bones. Otherwise they'd splinter and they can hurt them. But they like that. They crack them open and then eat the marrow in the bones and that's really good for them. So, And that's why they're getting so big. You're getting so big. Yeah. You're getting so big. You're going to be big like mommy soon. Yeah, so like another uh, week or so, they'll be sexually mature. But they're not around, going to be near the males. So we won't have that issue. And then um, Jen is adopting them. So once these babies are weaned, then mommy and her two babies can go to their new home. And then... We'll find homes for these little babies, too. So, Mummy, Cadbury, uh, Bunny and Peep are spoken for. But these little guys, they've got a whole future ahead of them. Look at them. They're so freaking cute. Yeah, you did a good job. Look at your babies. Look at your babies. Look at them all. Yeah. Of course, she wants to escape and run away and forage and stuff, but sorry, sweetie. Can't let you roam too far from the babies. Oh, they're so cute. Eyes are still closed. I'm going to try to document their lives as much as I can. Because uh, when I first got Lou... She was smaller than these guys, so she must have been like a week, two weeks maybe old. Uh, so I never, I've, I've seen like baby hamsters and like dagoos and stuff. Dagoos can move around and have their eyes open within an hour of being born, but these guys, these guys will take maybe a couple more days. And... They do have some fuzz on them, like a really light fuzz. I wonder if they're going to have any of their mother's markings. I don't know what the father looks like, but I think some of them will have the Siamese nose. And her pattern's supposed to get darker in the winter and lighter in the summer. She's sort of cream colored. Not like cream cream, but like... Half and half. Oh, look at those little babies. Oh, they're so cute. Big pile of babies. And keeping each other warm. Yeah, I'd say that the, the biggest baby is twice the size of the runt. Um, but there's two smaller ones. There's the one at this end here. And then the one over here. The very far one. On the two ends. They're um, smaller than the others, but they seem to be doing well. She's been feeding, and she's got 11 babies and 12 nipples, so there's no issue there. Just keeping an eye on them, checking on them several times a day, so I can catch if there's anything wrong. It seems to be going well. She's really good with them. She cleans them and stimulates them to go to the bathroom and uh, moves them around and picks them up gently. And She's a very sweet girl. And she filled her water bowl with paper, but she's still drinking it. So I'm trying not to disturb her too much while she's getting used to these babies. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. Little gummy bears. They are just like gummy bears. Oh yes, and they, they have names now. Um, well, kind of. I don't know until they're older if they're male or female or what, but they're all named after candy. So we've got what is it, Snickers, Mr. Nibs, Marshmallow, Jujubee, Haribo, uh, what was the, Gumdrop. 
I wrote them down. Ah, oh, there was another one. I said Snickers. Maybe Hershey's Peppermint Patty. Um, I don't know. Once they open their eyes, maybe I'll start, like, officially naming them. But aside from Peppermint Patty and Mr. Nibs, they're all pretty gender-neutral names, so... Look at them rolling around all sweet. Oh, and uh, when Cadbury first came to us, she had a, a toenail ripped out. But it's her other foot. But it's growing back very well. It's covered with litter, the one toe that's affected. But she had some blood on the back of her neck from scratching with the bad toe. But it, it's all healed up. It's starting to grow back. It looks pretty good. And she's doing well. She's taking care of herself, which is important, but also taking care of her babies, which is also important. She's doing well. So yeah, those are the babies. And there's the mummy. And there is more baby. You still there? You want some loveies or something? It's okay. Just touching your tail. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Just touching your tail lightly. Yeah. I don't handle them much because... I'm allergic to them, so I'll get a really bad rash. And that burns and is really itchy. But I'm trying to give them as much attention as I can. Giving them things to eat and things to play with. And they've got a wood chew in there, but I don't think they've figured it out that they can take it apart yet. And I like to chill up there. And because they're... Um, partially albino rats they can't see very well so they do this back and forth swaying thing when they're sitting there that helps them see better and they like to be sung to but I like to have my headphones in for that oh, and there's Caddy having a nap she's earned it she's done really well she's doing great actually She's been amazing. And these little babies. <laughs> Look at them all cute. Keeping each other warm. Yeah. They're actually like moving around and stuff. And this is day two, by the way. Look at those little wiggle bums. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. I've been keeping an eye keeping an eye on um their movement and their coloring. Cause uh I know they'll turn like blue if they're sick or passing away because they don't won't have any oxygen. So they all look to be the same color, all very healthy, pink, a little translucent so you can see, like this guy in the front is sleeping. I don't know if my camera can pick it up, but you can see his little lungs moving under the skin. It's absolutely disgusting, but also awesome. They're so cute. And there's a little black on his belly, or her, I don't know. That's from where the umbilical cord was. And they all have that. Well, for the most part. Like, I'm, I, when I came in and noticed that she'd had the babies, I expected, like, it to be a bloodbath in here. But she kept, she kept it pretty clean. Like, I was there when, uh, when I was, uh, I don't know, in my teens, still living at home. My sister had a cat who had gotten pregnant, and I was there for that birth, and it was a bloody mess. So, I was surprised. Like, at first I didn't even notice that she had the babies until I walked over and was like, oh, there's babies under her. And there's 
like a couple pieces of paper or some wood shavings in there that have like a couple drops of blood, but not a lot. I was very surprised. Like she'd already cleaned up everything. She'd already eaten the placenta. She'd already removed the umbilical cords. Like she did, she did all that work while I was sleeping. I kind of feel bad. <laughs> I kind of feel bad about it. So I wanted to be there, but that's okay. So I get to take part in it now. She's just having a good nap. And they're getting so big. And this is just one day. Like, they're twice the size that they were yesterday. It's hard to believe all of those were inside this little rat. Her belly got huge, too. Huge. It was hard to pick her up because I didn't want to squeeze her. And she actually bit me. That's when I actually f figured that she was pregnant because uh, I had put my finger in and was feeling her belly to check. And she put her teeth on my finger and I pulled my finger out. And that's how I got that. That was um, like a week ago. <laughs> yeah, I'm very allergic to rats. So that's going to take a long time to heal and it hurts. Uh. Oh, there we go. And we'll let her sleep. Have a look at the little weirdos up here. What are you babies doing? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, they like to chill up there. It's weird. But there we go.